Thanks for joining us tonight. Dozens of people showed up to a vigil this evening in Two Rivers for missing three-year-old Elijah Vu. He still hasn't been found after an Amber Alert was issued 25 days ago. Police did not provide any new updates today. Vu lives in Wisconsin Dells with his mother, but was staying with her boyfriend in Two Rivers when he disappeared. They are both being held on child neglect charges and are due back in court this upcoming week. Tonight's vigil was held at Walsh Field at 630. People who've been searching for Elijah the last few weeks were there. They say the number of volunteers is dwindling and tonight's gathering was aimed at refocusing the mission. We assure you the search for Elijah is a top priority of the Two Rivers Police Department and all the agencies involved. They are exploring all tips and possibilities to locate Elijah and will leave no stone unturned. I know we won't stop and we can't stop until Elijah is brought home. Elijah, if you can hear this on TV, know we are looking everywhere for you. Because some of Elijah's family members were also present tonight. Blue lights and candles were passed out and lit as community members took turns addressing those in attendance. As the search for Elijah continues, police remind us they continue to follow up on all tips from the public. Anyone who may have seen Elijah or know where he is is urged to call the tip line number on your screen, 844-267-6648. Simple question, tell me what we're doing tonight. We are trying to um, encourage everybody to not lose hope and just, you know, revamp the energy that we all desperately need. Everybody's exhausted and so it's, you know, just rekindle that hope that we need to keep going. Well, why is that so important to do? Because without that hope, nobody's searching. And I mean, not nobody, but the volunteers are getting slimmer and... Um, it's evident, you know, when you don't have results, it's easy to lose that hope. So this is kind of just bring everybody back together. And tell me about your involvement, what you've done so far. Um, so I lead the Fond du Lac search and, um, for Elijah, and then um, two others along with myself have kind of like organized the, you know, prepared, made the plans with, you know, the spelling of the name and just like all the details and whatnot. Okay. And why do you do it on a personal note? I have a six-year-old and um, I also volunteer in animal rescue. So granted it's not an expertise in, you know, rescue with humans and everything, but once you're in rescue, it kind of runs in your blood. So when somebody is missing or an animal is missing, just you can't help yourself from helping. But because I have a six-year-old, that's I can't imagine. And I'll let you get back. I just one last question. Just people who see this tonight or people who come on here tonight, what do you want them to take away from this? Don't stop. Help any way you can. Share, you know, through Facebook, media. Um, if you can't do the ground searching, you can help by sharing. Sharing Elijah's story, sharing his face, his flyer, and not giving up. Perfect. Anything else you want to add? Awesome.